Instead of recreating Eric Ten Hag's tactics, which there's very little reason to do so at this moment, let's be honest, we are going to try and fix the current issues that they have within the squad. They currently have some players unavailable, so Mount Shaw and Malaysia through injury, Anthony is on special leave and Sancho, well, he's currently unfavoured due to what he said in the media, but it could be time, it could be time to reinstate Sancho back into that starting 11 and help Manchester United get the results that they need. So trying to work with what they got, this is the starting 11, well I say starting 11, there are three players missing, the left back because we aren't sure who can quite play there, if obviously players are fully fit we could just put in a Luke Shaw and then at right back you can go for Delot or wan -Bissaka. but at the moment it has been Diego Delot at left back and wan -Bissaka at right back and then of course we have to find a solution for that right winger. As we are trying to fix Ten Hag's current problems, what I have done is put Diego Delot at left back and wan -Bissaka at right back we still need to find that right winger. The other options they have available of course is Gar Nacho and they also have Facundo Palestri. Palestri might be a bit raw to be starting for Manchester United at the moment and Gar Nacho for me personally, again I keep saying for me personally, I believe he's better on the left hand side than he is on the right hand side. Same too as Rashford, you can shift Rashford out on the right hand side but then you are shifting what well, basically your best player on the field, your match winner into a position that he's not best in. They have tried Rashford up front, which hasn't currently worked at the moment. I feel it's best to leave Rashford at left back, uh, left back, left wing. But what could they do tactically to better this team at the moment? Building out from the back, they can build with an initial three plus one consistent of the goalkeeper and two central defenders in the base or the back two central defenders and the left back dependent on the situation in the game and of course a holding central midfielder as that plus one. Many Premier League teams would use two in their first line of defence or look to go man for man. Using a three plus one shape would give a numerical advantage during the first phase of building an attack. Both fullbacks initially would hold their width to create space with wingers high and wide as well to make the pitch big, create depth and be an outlet for the goalkeeper with Anana being very comfortable playing those longer range passes which is helpful to be a press should Manchester United succeed in luring the press from the opposition. Something that we did see Manchester United attempt against Arsenal. If not looking to lure the press to play a more direct pass and in case of the left back staying deep, a part of the initial build up shape, Bruno drops deep to maintain passing triangles that would allow Manchester United to keep the ball by playing in the third man and helping ball progression through the thirds that way. To help Manchester United create overloads for effective ball progression within the system, they can manipulate and make these overloads by creating a box midfield through fluid movements dependent on the situation and the opposition's structure. The effectiveness of creating these overloads could allow a wide player such as Rashford to get in a 1v1 situation with a fullback, qualitative superiority or get a central player on the ball facing towards goal with runners penetrating the defensive block. To create chances, Manchester United could use wide players in the finishing stages to carry the ball towards the box and towards the byline, preferably Rashford on left, or use an overlapping fullback to send crosses into the box where Manchester United could send bodies inside the box while still setting up a decent enough rest defence to stop the counter-attack, which United, you could say, have had issues with so far this season. Now Manchester United in attack isn't necessarily a problem but what they do have is unavailable players such as Anthony so they will have to make some tweaks in attack hence why I'm saying this could be a solution of fixing Eric Ten Hag's current problems at Manchester United. To further help create this box, what we are going to do is shift Bruno Fernandes slightly onto the, le uh, onto the left hand side and what we can have actually as well is some nice Rashford and Bruno Fernandes link up play and then with Hojlund we're just going to shift him out to the right hand side and now we do hope because I believe Sancho would be best playing this right wing role for uh, Eric Ten Hag whilst Anthony is out and then Sancho could drift into the uh, into this right channel here there we can create our box in midfield with our overlapping fullback Wambasaka. and then what we are expecting now from the left back is for him to hold his position and this can create a back three shape for Manchester United in here we kind of have our free box midfield and then we have our two wingers 
and striker up top you could say manchester city <laughs> use a similar shape to this but how Manchester City would use their box or their formation, their system, and how Manchester United would use their system are to, uh, two complete different things. So though the shape could look similar, how the shape is being used are very, very different. So to help further understand this, we are going to set some player roles so we can understand uh, the player's movements and their responsibility. In goal, we are going to be using a sweeper keeper on attack for Onana, so I'm very comfortable with the ball. We want him to be playing with the ball at his feet, luring the opposition's press, but also being able to play some risky passes out long and wide. For the fullbacks, we are going to be using a wing back on the fend for Diego Delo or for the left back for uh, Lissandra Martinez we are going to use a ball playing defender on stopper he's a very very aggressive central defender and then for Varane we're going to use a central defender on defend someone that's just I wouldn't necessarily say very comfortable on the ball but someone that has less responsibilities in um, playing line break and passes and then for the right back we are going to be using a wing back on support uh, on pack on support and then with the team instructions we are going to focus and overlap down that right hand side in defensive midfield for amrabat we want him to be sort of our playmaker so when that's going to dictate the tempo but not necessarily use a playmaker we are going to be using a defensive midfielder on the fen and then for casemiro we're going to be using a segunda volante on attack now for casemiro the main reason why i'm using them on attack because i wanted them to make some deep runs from midfield into the box something like Casemiro is actually very very useful for and you could say that's getting the best out of Casemiro too so this partnership here of Amrabat and Casemiro could be the best partnership in getting the best out of both players Amrabat staying deep controlling the tempo for Manchester United and Casemiro at times looking to get further forward and help the attack by getting into the box for Manchester United for Bruno Fernandes we're going to be using an attacking midfielder on attack so that can get further forward but he kind of starts in this attack advanced role and he can also drop deep as a midfielder Rashford we are using an inf uh, inside forward I mean that's the perfect role for <laughs> Rashford let's be honest and then for Jadon Sancho we are going to use the advanced playmaker on attack we're not going to be using an inverted winger on attack because inverted wingers in this game they still like to stay wide during the build-up but it's during that build-up it's during play is that where we want Sancho to move inside and create that box and an advanced playmaker well they are are very good for it but also the advanced playmaker will vacate the space and it allows for wan -Bissaka to make that early overlap lastly for Hojlund up top we're going to be using that classic classic complete forward role on attack Hojlund well we want him they want him we don't want him I'm a gooner Manchester United want him to be that sort of classical number nine that classic number nine someone that is able to hold up the ball get in behind the defense line link up play win headers and also be able to do the dirty work off the ball as well so this here is the shape and the player roles that we are going to go for now for the team instructions because in the build-up phase we want the pitch to be wide and we want the team to be able to create depth as well we are going to be using a fairly wide attacking width we also want to focus play down the left so we want when we are looking to create our chances move the ball into that creating phase we do want the ball to get into those wider areas so for an example on the left hand side we want Rashford to get the ball in a 1v1 situation driving at that fullback and then on the right hand side possibly use an overlap on Sancho and get wan -Bissaka on the ball to send in an early cross or maybe it doesn't have to be early but just across from the right hand side which is why we are focusing play down both flanks and then for the overlap on the right hand side we do want to pass the ball into space use short of passing but Manchester United want to operate with a higher tempo and we want to well we can use run at defense or we cannot use run at defense that doesn't really necessarily matter but in football manager we can just use run at defense to try and get some better results a slight issue for Manchester United at the moment has been in transition to try and well solve those issues when possession has been lost we're not going to count a press or a group we're going to try and reserve a bit of energy but also we don't want to create some spaces and gaps for oppositions 
to be able to exploit so we're not going to use neither at the moment and then when possession has been won we are going to be making our counter attacking movements we want onana to distribute the ball quickly and we want him to take well short kicks and you can see here as well take short kicks ask the goalkeeper to drop the ball at his feet and pass the ball short when distributing now this might not necessarily be a short pass once he does drop the ball at his feet there might not be a passing option on this is where onana can then spray those long passes lastly for our position we are going to operate in a high press but not again be overly aggressive that we are creating opportunities for the opposition by leaving gaps to exploit we don't want to do that but we are going to trigger press more often because we still want to be proactive in our tactic i don't know why i froze there i just froze i'm not sure why but that there is the tactic and how i would fix eric ten hogs manchester united so in this highlight here's ran on the ball casemiro and here we are you can see here we're looking to build with our back three Varane, Lindelof and Martinez our two holding midfielders at the moment is Casemiro and McTominay and then to complete the box we have Mount and Donny van der Bay so this is actually the exact shape so now if we look here at the shape here so we've got our two holding midfielders and then uh, van der Beek and then our right winger this here is creating that box but then we've got our overlapping right back we've got our striker on the last line and then we've also got our inside forward here on the left so here's Martinez he brings the ball forward and then just pulling it back a little bit here as well because in the analysis I said that um creating overloads creating effective overloads allows for someone to uh, make penetrating runs at the opposition's block and this is exactly what the left-sided attacking midfielder does Donny van der Beek he uh, makes that penetrating run gets towards the byline pulls it back Casemiro inside the box as well exactly where we want Casemiro so here's a goal that we scored against Brighton on honor finds the lot the lot finds Sancho and again we're just gonna pause it here because we can see the box uh two of the box midfield that is created here was Sancho Ericsson McTominay and Bruno Fernandes for today but also notice the run from Diego de Lot here ready ready to make that overlapping run in which he does hey overlaps his Hoysen looking for Rashford on the last line of defense plays uh goes through on goal pulls it back Bruno Fernandes what a goal building up on the left hand side now has Luke Shaw with a deep free kick Martinez plays it into Amrabat Bruno Fernandes plays it back to Luke Shaw forward to Garnacho into Amrabat look at those penetrating runs mount the overlapping fullback now for the chance creation the fullback plays the ball into the mount and there we go so when football manager i haven't actually completed the full season because that was never the aim to it was just to be talking about some manchester united tactics but in the premier league you can see how well it's doing with us sitting on top of the league unbeaten in the champions league we have progressed and got raul sociedad in the last 16 in the fa cup and the carabao cup but well, we haven't played much games in that in the premier league Poison has scored 14 Haaland on 21. Bruno Fernandes with eight assists. Rashford though with the second best average rating. And looking at the team stats as well, we scored the third most goals so far. Had the most shots for, the fewest shots against. Fourth when it comes to possession. And we have conceded the fewest but unfortunately that wraps up today's video if you have enjoyed today's video make sure that you send some recommendations on a similar video a similar video i can do a similar video on a different manager but also send in your manager recommendations of tactics i should be looking to recreate and i will end it right there if you are looking to support me this channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe but also check out the patreon if you can afford it sign up and become a member that's one great way to support the rdf i'll see you guys soon stay safe god bless peace out